na first item noon is immortality. I definitely gonna be picking execration dito sa game number three. All right, so let's medyo have a split 50 -50 here. Decision na nga. Oh, oh. It's gonna be a big one, ladies and gents. Ready na ba kayo? Umain na ba kayo? Dahil ito na ang huling laban ng NXP versus execration sa araw na ito. Yes, yun na nga mga kaibigan. Sino dito ang mag-uuwi ng bragging rights dito sa dalawang team na to? Pero tra, ito na hihintay nating mga TP eh. At saka mga stickers eh na pinangako sa atin ni Kuya Zapno. Pero look at here on the mid. Ang ganda ng mga pokes nila dito. Ah, Kuya Rockert, ah. Oh my God, the pokes are real. And that's going to be a very hard lane to fight here. Lalo na ngayon si Eto Max, naka, ano siya, naka na siya. Hmm? One of the best supports obviously in the game right now with so much range and damage output early on pa lang. So, execration, expect ko na kayang-kaya ng kontrolin yung early game uh, with the help of these two people. Pero syempre, titignan natin kung paano ang pasok ng NXP. Hindi nila papayagang free na buff lang to and guguluhin lang nila. Mm -hmm. Kate will still get the buff. Ang galing, ang galing nung, uh, nung ikot doon ng, ano, ng NXP solid. Uh. I mean, trying doon. Pero ito, mukhang maaabutan yata rito. Chuck, no, spotting out, trying to deny the purple mm. buff dito. Kami ng, naman, kami naman, sabi nila. Oo, oh, oh, but Renny J, tama lang din yung dating niya rito. Mukhang masisecure naman dito ni H2 yung kanyang buff. Yep. Very close to level 4, so I think we will expect a lot of big team fights here. But again, what is going to be the setup? Paano kaya yung gagawin ng uh, NXP dito to actually invade? Kasi this is gonna be a difficult jungle to invade. Mm -hmm. Hindi na magagawa yung mga usual na ginagawa yep. nila na papasok sa jungle nung walang problema. They actually will have to deal with so much threats mula sa execration. Mm -hmm. dito sa laban na to. Most likely. Pero ano eh, the, the, uh, siguro uh, gonna be giving uh, the reason why I actually pick for the execration. Yep. One thing is Farsa. Farsa. Farsa, I mean, uh, one of the best uh, support heroes talaga, I think, on Mati. this meta. Oh. Then, number two is the Renegades hero. Kasi, uh, uh, to be honest, sa mga nakikita ko, ang na, dami kong to be honest, na totoo oh, lang. Pinansin <laughs> nga ni Prof. B. kanina yun eh. Pero, nagsasabi kasi ako ng totoo. Yun lang gusto ko sabihin. Yeah. Si Rene J. Rob kasi, Luna does not lie. Oo. Oh, oh, lagi ko siya nakikita sa mga offensive type ng heroes. Like yung uh, uh, yung kanyang Cho, mm -hmm. yung kanyang uh, Hellcurrent. Pero if you're gonna be giving Rene J. a defensive hero, kumbaga may part sa akin na hindi natin na ma-maximize si Rene J. Nasasayangan ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Sa pick na yun. And it's a good pick. Mm, Pero you're, it's on the wrong Person. Yes. Oh, oh. I mean, I, I'm not saying that hindi kaya ng laro ni Renee For sure, ang gato kaya. But what I'm trying to say is that there are certain heroes na the best talaga para sa kanya, and the draft actually uh, countered somehow yung mga heroes ni Renee. Yeah, and that's actually something that you will need to deal with talaga. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're on a team, lima lang talaga kayo. Eh. Like mm -hmm. no choice kung kailangan yun talaga ng isang extra frontline tank you will need to adapt. And that's something na magandang testing din yan. Oo. Magandang testing din yan para sa NXP, no? Mm -hmm. Na meron silang mga hero na hindi mo usually makita na gamit nila. Pero, if they can pull it off here in the highest level of play dito sa MPL, aba, that's saying something. That means, napaka-multi-talented mo. Napaka-dami mong pwedeng gawin for your team which adds more value to you as a player. Exactly. Exactly. So, Totoong totoo doon. I mean, you actually nakuha mo lahat ng mga points doon, Kuya Rockhart. Mm -hmm. ang, ang, ang isa pa dito, mga kaibigan, uh, ang, ang, ganda, ang, bili, ang laki ng burst potential kasi din ang, uh, ng execration from the, uh, of course, nandun yung uh, choke could be able a good, very good pick off. Mm -hmm. Tapos somehow, of course, the Farsa with the Feather Air Strike, di ba? Para ang bilis mag-deal ng damage. Parang may instant minus one kayo pag may nahuli mm -hmm. si Benny QT. Parang yes. ganun, no? And the Farsa is something that you need to really look out for. Mm. And si Ito Max ba may gamit? Sobrang, uh, uh, it would be a different story siguro kung napunta to sa, ano, mm -hmm. kung napunta to sa NXP because Chester is very good on uh -oh. that. Actually, both of them are both good of them are very players, good eh. Farsa uh -oh. players. Ang inisip ko to lang talaga, yung Kagura pick, how, how does it deal with the Farsa pick? Mm -hmm. Diba? Sa early game, obviously, lamang na lamang kasi si Farsa. Pero pag nagkumpul-kumpul na kayo, tas hindi nyo napansin yung Kagura. Dun, dun na nagkakanda na chileche yung lineup. Totoo. So, ka, depende sa sitwasyon, depende sa position pala, sorry, ni Chester sa magiging laban sa mid-game, pero again, medyo mid-game pa yon para yeah. sa akin. Uh, ang problema kasi sa ano yun, no? sa isang Kagura, is that he actually needs a little bit of time compared oh. sa isang Farsa. I mean, Farsa, kailangan lang niyang mag-level 4 and that's it. Oh. I mean, kahit Arcane... Kahit no items pa, no? Oo, oh, kahit Arcane oh. boots lang. Ayun yung boots, to be honest. Kayang-kaya niyang i-mag-deal ng, uh, ng enough damage. But that's a different for, ano, for Akagoras. Ang difference lang nila probably is yung mechanics nila sa mga team fights, which is after uh, after ng Feather Airstrike, eh, mas malaki na yung maibibigay ng isang Kagura. But 
will they be able to have that time para magkaroon ng item din si Chester? Yun ang kailangan nating tignan. Mm. And nagiging solid, nagiging klaro na kung ano yung mga win condition ng ating mga manlalaro dito ngayon. Yes, yun na nga. Pero still, medyo ano pa, medyo nagiging cautious sila dito. This is not what we've seen on the first two matches nila. And I think ang baka mang, ang unang sagupaan natin dito paglabas pa ng first turtle. Eh. Yeah, for sure. The first turtle is going to be the biggest deal. Lalo na si H2O. Matang-mata niya yan. Like, if he does not get the turtle early on, that's gonna be a problem. But looks like it's gonna be a team fight here sa mid lane. Mga kaibigan, si Hate na nadulas yata dito. Oh, With H2O oh. picking up the first blood. I think he wanted to dive Totoo. further. Ang, ang maganda kasi doon, ano, Kuya Ra, ang ganda ng pwesto ganda din doon ni Rainy J. Naka-ready eh. yung ano niya doon, yung... Uh, Tawag dito, yung pag-taunt niya doon, tapos naipit sila, even with the Jitkundo doon. Pero, wow, wha what wow. a very time he played on for ano. Pero dito, tumalon si Yawi not being hitting with Benny QT and ang daming TP kong nakita doon. Yup, that's a lot of TPs and Benny QT showing na napaka-confident niya. Kayang-kaya mag-survive there on the bottom lane. Pero ngayon, Turtle in 10 seconds, ano ang magiging reaksyon ng execration dito? Mm, yes, but still, uh, they're still waiting ah, na mag-level 4 dito. Ito yung ano eh, no? yung timing minsan pagka sa purple buff, pag kinuha mo sa agad, uh, sumasakto siya sa labas din ng turtle. Exactly. So, ito na yun. Now that meron ng buff si Hate kahit paano, wala siyang orange pero may blue siya. So, kaya niya mag-skill spam ng konti mm. para maging mas komportable siya dito sa laban, sa ilalim ng turtle. Which is, mangyayari niya yata in a few moments. Execration, inunahan na agad ang NXP. NXP going in and starting to do the collapse. Yes, pero wala yata ditong pang palipad si Eto Max. But the ultimate coming from Yawi will be there just to secure Chester. Will be taking down that far sa one man down for the side of Execration. But, ito na kaya. Kukunin na kaya nila dito ang turtle ng NXP Solid. Ang haba sinasabi natin mga kaibigan. Now, NXP, after one kill lang on ito, Maxi, far sa pano, wala. No more vision and no more damage output. They could do this, pero syempre, dahan-dahan muna. Eh, Chak, no? Ganot mm -hmm. ng pwesto. Looking for the big fatal links. Oh! Secured by Rene J, ang turtle. Hindi na bagay kay H2O. Ang ganda ng Fatal Links pero hindi enough yung follow-up dahil si Eto Mac, isa lang yung tumama doon sa Feather Airstrike. Raging Sunstorm will be there. Yawi dito, pinapakuluan, pinapainitan dito ni Paling Zap. New H2O going all in and MB still alive doon sa may bandang likuran ng NXP Solid. Napagandang pasok nun. Of course, we still have a sacrificial lamb here. Yeah, we going down, pero again, Turtle on the wrong target. So, masakit-sakit yes. si Rene J dito. <laughs> Akala yata niya, mm. Hellgirt pa siya eh. Ang, ang maganda <laughs> sa ginawa doon, ano, kaya Rautor, ng, ano, ng NXP Solid. Yes. Hinold nila si Chak, no? Kung baga, hindi nila pinilit yung Lord. Then, yes, nakakuha ng magandang Fatal Links. Yep. Uh, actually, It tatlo. Or yeah. actually, apat. Pero yun nga lang, hindi uh, umabot doon yung backup dito ng execration. Still, they could be able to pull off at least killing Yawi on the process and MB medyo nabuhay siya doon. Yeah. Ang pinakamalaking ano doon is nahuli si Hate. Yeah, sobrang sayang ni, nung engage ni Chak no? kasi yung follow-up kulang lang din. Tapos mm. nahuli pa nga si Hate. Yep. Which is naging napakalaking problema dito para sa execration. Now, it is going to be NXP oh. barreling down! Beautiful Tyrus Revenge and the Fatal Links para makagante. Pero makakatakas naman ng NSP doon sa engagement with Rene J with the zone. Oo. Oh, oh. Grabe. Panigurado. Grabe. Pa to, to, Kuya Rockert, ha? sobrang MVP ng mga galawan dito ni Yawi. I mean, yes, with the Tyrant's Revenge doon, huli niya kagad yung dalawa. At and as well, Rene J just zoning out with the Avatar of the Guardian, giving an anxiety dito kay Eto Mac. Hindi siya basta-basta makapag-feathered airstrike. That's Kasi, true. Pwedeng-pwede siyang biglang talo na ni Rene J. And Rene J definitely knew when to go in. Mm -hmm. Kailangan kailangan nila i-secure yung tower na yun. Kailangan nila ma-secure yung HP din nila H2. Kasi napuwersa din sila H2 na mag-tempest of blades para makaiwas mm -hmm. sa damage output. And syempre, Avatar the Guardian, great zoning tool. Kahit hindi tumama yan, Basta, takutin mo lang yung kalaban mo. Nagawa mo na yung trabaho mo. Exactly. Uh, looks like uh, hate dito. Uh, hindi nakakakuha ng uh, the usual place niya sa kanyang Lancelot. Lagi siyang napipick up dito, mga kaibigan. Pero Pero man, like, look at Yawi. Look at the Avatar of the Guardian from Rene J. Hitting the Farsa. Two man down para sa ilang execration. May fatal links, pero hindi enough. Chak mo dito. Mukhang mapanganib. Habol na. MB will be taking down the Atlas. And that's gonna be a three man down for execration. May susunod pa nga. Yata record. That's gonna be Zap Nu Almost killing everyone from the side of execration. Benny Cutie ah, just getting a consolation tower dito sa bandang ibaba. Mga kaibigan, ang score 1 over 10. 
Nako po, delikado sa social media ang mga ganitong score. Nako po, oo, napopost ang mga ganitong score, mga kaibigan. We will have to see if execration, kaya ba nilang itilt back ang laban na to because that is becoming very difficult for them to win. Lalo na ngayon si H2O, nakuha na yung turtle na dapat sa kanya. They will go for a fight once more on top lane. Ayaw pa magpapigil, ayaw magpawat. NXP, they will have control of this game with a almost 5,000 gold lead. Oh, oh, grabe. I mean, H2O dito, mga kaibigan, ready in the zone. 5-0-4, KDA. Nag literal, literal dito, Rockhart. Talagang nagsusnowball na rito ang NXP solid as of 7 minutes into the game. They could be uh, potentially na mag-deny na si rin dito. Pero si Hate doon na naman nahuli yung nahuli. Naman. Same oh, spot? Same spot. Ang matindi rito. Kung ano yung score ni H2O, yun naman yung kabaliktaran nung kay Hate. Baliktad na baliktad, as in, I cannot believe my eyes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> tuloy, tuloy. H2O ayaw pa rin mabigil with Chester in danger, though. With the last mm. insati, Zapnu, not take down naman niya ang kanyang karibal. Pero for the meantime, lamang pa rin. On the map, everyone else starting to get in position for a big push. Totoo yan, mga kaibigan. 4,000 lead pa lang naman dito ang NXP Solid. And what's, uh, at least there's still gonna be a good juice for execution because they do have here the Forza uh, that could be able to win stand or at least go into the late game. That way of the Dragon ni Ben QT, pero hindi yata enough. But the Feather Airstrike will be there. Chak Nu will be taking down the life dito ni Yawi. And Outer of the Guardian out for Renny J. Yep, dahil dun. And of course, they will still get something for that. Ang problema dito, nagiging hit or miss na, slowly yung mga hit, engage ni Yawi, magiging problema kasi mga pinsan, pag sobrang ganda ng momentum mo, mm -hmm. mapapa, go ka na mapapago. Oo, <laughs> kumbaga mo? parang ano eh, in, parang in-hit ka eh. Oo, in-hit eh, Oo, gigil diba? na gigil so, ka. So parang you have the momentum, you tend to probably commit mistakes kasi nga, more on aggression ka going forward. Pero ito, really, mukhang try ang defense enemy yung pinapakita rito for Benny Cutie. Pero yung Sipa, kinounter ng Tempest of Blade. Pero H2O, pero sa likod, eto Max! Tamang-tama yung pasok niya, pero ang bilis to balon sa pader to on H2O. And still gonna be alive dito sa laban na to. Grabe yun. Wala akong masabi doon. Natahimig ako. And of course, makuha pa rin ng NXP yung Turtle sa top lane habang nangyayari lahat na to. H2O should have died. Oh, oh. Pero hindi pa rin talaga. Mag isang, isang ano na lang yun eh. Isang one hit na lang isang yun eh. Isang one hit, isang kiliti. Look at that, mga kaibigan. Yawi dito trying to check on the bushes dito. Mga kaibigan, still, still, this is an NXP solid. A game to lose para sa kanila. It's up for execration to hold. Dahil isa na lang, or probably yung torre nila dito ay nauubos ng paunti-unti sa kanilang, I mean, tier 3 turret na lang halos yung nabubuhay sa kanila aside from the top lane. That's right. And I think gusto na nating tapusin ng NXP Solid yung bottom lane second and yung top lane second. So, this is a lot of gold. Isang katutak the gold pero mahuli ba nila sa H2O? Mm. We'll be going down there. Yawi with a big engage. Fatal Links mag-isa. Ganun kakamahal. Neto. Mm, buhay pa din. <laughs> buhay pa din. Kuya Rakai. Grabe naman si Boss Yawi going oh, down oh. with the last insanity pero looks like H2O kuha pa rin ang target sa gusto niya. That's Zapnu. Once more on this export. Grabe, still four man down sa execration. Si MB tumambay na sa base dito ng execration. Sabi niya, ako na lang bahala dito mga tol. It's gonna be eto, Max na lang ang buhay. This could be it, This could be it, man. A very, very strong finish kung sakali. NXP wants to go in. Tower lock, base lock agad. Pero, boy ba? Like eto, Max. Wala minyo na ba yung... Walang minion wave, sinakripisyo na sarili niya para maklear. Oo, oh, oh, wow. Buti na lang nandun si Eto Max. Hindi pa tapos yung akalain yung laro dahil nandito pa ang execration. Hindi pa. Humihinga pa mga kaibigan. And it's still going to be a 9k goal lead. A very solid one at 10 mm. and a half minutes. Pero again, hanggat hindi bumabagsak ang base, hindi pa tapos ang labanan. Hate going out to the Phantom Execution. Pero ang problema, bawas niya. Nasaan na? 0-6-3 on that Lancelot. Yes. Ang ano, no, uh, kumbaga parang ang naging play doon ni Chak, no, sa tara, tanggalin na muna natin sa equation oh. si Yawi. Pero grabe yung kunat doon ni Yawi. Yes, nakahuli. Pero ito, mukhang ang speaking of huli, that's gonna be Chester. Uy. Pero si MB rito, mukhang siya yung susunod. Look at the damage. Ito, Max, dito, medyo nararamdaman na ng NXP solid. Medyo kailangan mo nang i-hold ng NXP yung kanilang aggression kasi pwedeng-pwede pa din kumambak dito ang execration. Yep. Malaking bagay yung minus one. And again, kakita nyo naman, walang 0-6-0-6 
Mm -hmm. Pag nag-item lock, pag nag-late game, lahat na kayo full items. Kahit yes. ano standing yan, ganun pa rin. So I think yun yung ginagawa, sinusubuang gawin mm -hmm. ng execution ngayon. As in, clear mo lang lahat ng minion waves hanggang umabot na naman tayo ng 30 minutos oh, oh. dito. At pantay-pantay na naman tayo. Feeling ko, pinlano ni Ginoong Valdez to eh. Tingin ko? Nasabi niya, o oh, sige, paano muna natin sa early tapos oh. comebackin nyo. Dahil din, yung sa tulong, comeback. bala na kayo kung sino makakuha. Oh. No? <laughs> good luck, di ba? Oh, good luck good kung luck mangyayari na yun. And, uh, Tingnan natin kung magiging sagot ni ng ano dito ng NXP is patagalin pa ba natin? Mm, I don't Or, think so ha kasi Luminous Lord na to Kuya oh, Big deal na to and Chakno all eyes on Chakno dito. Mm -hmm. Kasi ngayon kung pull kumpul kayo there's a good chance mahuli kayo if you don't keep your eyes out. Problema, execution. Uh -oh. Ang sagot nila, ayaw namin. Hindi uh -oh. kami papatol. Anong mm -hmm. akala niyo sa amin? We will wait on the way on the base mm -hmm. and we will try to fight you pag dumating na yung Lord. Ex Oo, totoo yun. Kasi Continue ano ta? din eh, uh, it's gonna be risky for them to be able to dive that one out. Yes, there's a potential na manakaw nila yon, pero at, uh, up until what extent, di ba? That's so I, I think they could be able to hold pa rin naman like what we said, meron silang Farsa dito that still have an item naman. May lightning trancho na si Etomak dito. Could be able to deal damage. Probably makuha, I think basag naman na yung top lane talaga nila. Yes. So it, it's gonna be okay. So ang sagot dito for NXP Solid is kaya ba nila na i-hold yung mga lanes na halos sabay-sabay? Kasi kung bagay yung Lord, hahayaan na nila yan. Eh. Tama. So, Tapos i-flow na lang nila oh, yung mid at yung bot. Pagsasabayin oh. nila yung gitna sa kayong ibaba. So ang tanong is, kaya bang mag-depensahan ng execution? Mm. And ang I three think ito yun ha. Mukhang sakto to. Sakto to. Here we go. Or... Here we go. Sakto, sabay-sabay. Let's go. Will it, will it be a big team fight or will it be a separate fight on top, mid, and bottom? Let's see, Kuya Rob. Oo, yun na. Tumalon doon si Rene J. Pero the Lord is still alive. Pero wala na yata ang minion wave doon sa ibaba. Pero mukhang mabasag yata. Look at H2O. Uh, just targeting. Pero nawala doon. Nawala. Yung catapult. And still. What a perfect defense. Nadipay sa nila yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Timing lane. Ang ganda rin kasi ng mga minion wave clear ng execration. Still, the middle lane can be taken down. And yun na. Inulti na. Nag-last insanity na doon si Zach. Yeah, just to be able clear. to clear down the way. Very cutie. Tumalon doon si Yaoi. Dinikit sila lahat doon sa may tore. But the fatal links will hit on too. But the replace of blade will be there. It will be enough nga kaya but H2O start going in para doon sa atas medyo unti na ubos niya dito ang LXP solid eto Max having a triple kill and as well with hate na buhay pa rin unang patay niya yun pero as a shutdown and a wipe out dito sabi nila dito takbo na mga to oh, takbo pinapatakbo sila ngayon ng execration yung boss nila for sure takbo kay sa mid lane go for it Kaka and take it out as much as you can Kaka kaya ba kaya ba this is 20, 20 seconds, seconds on the death timer dito ng NXP solid mukhang oh kaya to oh my god kaya kaya to tingin ko kaya to kaya to huwag hold nila to medyo tinatangkin nila dito tatangkin nila nila yan for sure dako po mga kaibigan that's gonna yung be base, dako yung, base, yung base 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 yung